down in position. Clearing for a geese already. Looking for a sunrise. So fingers crossed. Get on. Get on back. As you can see from lad, the shot cam in. footage, bring it's not in. the cleanest of triples. Good lad, good lad. The first one came out stone dead good and lad, dropped up the in. field in front of me. And then the other two came out behind. Dead, dead, uh, dead, I dead. sent Gunner out for the first one that come out behind me. And then straight back in and then straight back out on the third bird. It was walking across the field at a good distance towards the trees. So, time I got my phone out to record, he was on his way back, but still, great retrieve. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's a hell of a retrieve, that is. There, look. Good lad, bring it here. We've got triple on pinks. Good lad. Good lad, bring it here. Bring it here, come on. I caught them pinks, lovely. Good lad. Dead. Right, I've shot four geese, I've had five shots, four geese. It just goes to show, doing reconnaissance does pay off. I've been watching these, I say I've just been flighting, no decoys this morning whatsoever. I actually called five pinks around an absolute Brahma and they uh, they come lovely and I took a triple out of them and uh, there was an early bunch come, I just got here and I didn't quite get the camera on. The scheme just went just that little bit wider me but picked the, the last bird of the skein up on the right and uh, it fell to me shot luckily enough so a nice clean kill come out lovely yeah look grey leg just gone over my head now but I've had enough now I don't I don't want to shoot no more than what I need I've got enough of what I need so I'll catch up with you later in the video hello everybody welcome back to the channel something a little bit different for the channel hope you're enjoying the video so far if you are don't forget to give the video a like and a share and a comment if you feel comfortable 
So the purpose of the video, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I post a lot more stuff on there, photos and uh, little videos of what I get up to. And I've had quite a few messages asking me if I can do a more in-depth video on uh, goose jerky that I make. So me being me, thinking, well, rather than just do a video of me cutting a bird up and slicing it up and seasoning it and putting it in the dehydrator, I thought I'd do the whole process of me just going out with my dog, finding a flight line of geese, shooting it for geese, and that, then going home and doing the process that way. I thought it would make more of an interesting video to watch so that's what I've done so I'll try not to keep you too much longer the next part of the video is me uh, processing the bird and then taking it all the way through to the uh, finished product as they say so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching right guys for the purpose of the video I'm only going to do one I'm doing it in the house I don't normally do them in the house, I normally do them outside, but unfortunately it's it's Baltic outside. So um, yeah, all I'm going to do is just show you the one, there's no need going through them all. I will say, this is how I do it. You may do it different, it's up to you, uh, but this is how I do it. I have learnt a few, well a couple of months ago now, is I used to cut them from here and pull the skin up. But now I've been told to cut them, shown how to cut them from here and pull the skin down and pull them that way. Yeah, this is how I do it. I don't want to hear in the comments, oh, I can do 50 an hour quicker than that. Not interested. So this is just how I do it. And for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to show you one. And that it might not be the cleanest way, but it's the way I do it. Um, but yeah, it was all shot this morning, as you know. So yeah, right, well, we'll crack on. So all I do is get the skin, pull the skin, cut it up, and then just, no doubt, no, this is going to be a tough one because I'm recording it. So I'll just pull the skin off. So all you do, oh, must be an old one. open her up there we go let's clean your hands off a bit that's it all right so all i'm going to do is a bone just here and a bone just here and i'll follow in my knife i'll follow down there and down there then work with the breast off the breast plate so, yes i know running my knife fingers down the knife I'm so bad. Right, so here's a go, look. Down there. So I'll turn my knife round. Down that bone. That's it, it's one out. Same here. You can actually push your fingers through that. Let's turn it around. Down that bone. That's it, your breast clean. Now that, you got your bones, and all I do is run my knife down the inside of the leg, skin it off, chop it off, take the uh, sinew and the tendons out, and then bag it up and save it for burgers, sausages, mince, whatever. 
Right, so that's that done. I'll get these breasts washed down and I'll come back to you. So that's all the breasts washed off and ready. What I will say is, um, if you find any holes in your breasts when you're doing, I just check them for feathers. And actually, sometimes get feathers and that, and also shot. Just keep your eye out for shot and that when you're. Uh, Right now, look, I'll just wash these, as you can see. I'll just find a bit of steel shot there, look. So just be careful when you're prepping it, give it a good look over. For one, you don't want an expensive dentist bill, and two, if you hit it with a knife, you'll run the edge off your knife, you'll blunt your knife, and that. So, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you one how I cut one up. You don't want to see me doing more, the video will go on forever. So I'll pick some of these out, dry them off, and then I'll, I'll slice them up and then uh, season them up, and then we'll stick them in the dehydrator. Right, so these are the breasts that I'm just going to use. And I have to dry them off a bit, I do. Just use some blue roll, just dab them down. Like that, just so it just makes them easier to handle. That's disposable then, you're not going to... So that's that. Uh, and all I do, I find it better to put them on the back like this and I just start off like that right, so it's sort of how fit up to you um, how fit you go, I normally go about that look, I like them fit you see that, bits like that some people call it a bit long but once it's been in the dehydrator and that, and it dehydrates out, it's perfectly fine. So just keep one along. Now I've got two dehydrators because I'm greedy, so I'm making a good lot. Shouldn't last us the Christmas period. So yeah, I mean you sometimes get a little bit of blood in it. Some of you might want to cut it out, some of you don't. Don't bother me. So just keep cutting it nice and thinly as you can. Like so. To get through the brush, your bits get a little bit thicker. And uh, just keep going like that. Sometimes get little bits of cat tags like that. I just cut them off, saves you from cutting your fingers, trying to cut it all the way down that end. Like that. Just keep squashing it with your fingers. So I just roll it over on the end then when it gets so far. And just keep going like that. One more, and that's done. So that's that done. That's all the process I do. Now, as I said, I'm not show you all these because the video will go on so long. So what I'll do, I'll bring you back when they're all done. Right. So that's the meat all cut up. I'll put it onto a tray. Um, what I failed to mention earlier on. The Americans call this muscle jerky um, because it's not processed. What they normally do, you normally put it through a mincer, uh, grind it all up and add different seasonings and that to it. And then they have a gun and you squeeze it out on the gun, put it on your tray and then dehydrate it that way. Well, this isn't. This is just straight from the breast. So they call it this uh, muscle jerky. It is a bit tougher, um, but yeah. I like this way. I tried the other way. I haven't been that successful with uh, the other stuff, to be honest with you. So um, I've just got this. I'll just show you that. Look, this is the new stuff that I got. It's called Magic Dust. It's a bit. Uh, it's like a barbecue seasoning. This one is. Um, and I've got this one. It's uh, jerk dust, Jamaican jerk dust. Now this is really, really powerful stuff. It's, whew, put it this way, 
make sure you wash your hands before you go have to nip to the toilet because you don't want to get that on there I'm telling you because it, it's hellfire or in your eyes but yeah that's the jerk dust so all I do I'll pick my seasoning what I want I'll put it in there and I'll just give it a quick dabble in there and then I don't know whether you can see the um just seeing the dust out of shot uh the dehydrators but i'll move the dehydrators closer in the next part so this is the one of the dehydrators it's a home com it's a small one jez actually bought this one for me um so yeah i use this one and then i just bring this one it's a, i've got a bigger one because I'll just probably get that in a shot. This is a uh, Art Tech, and that, this is a bigger one. This is because obviously I do a lot of jerky. The kids love it. The wife loves it. The grandkids, some of the grandkids love it. That's another thing to mention. You don't have to season your jerky. You can just leave it plain if you want. But uh, I like seasoning mine. But these all come. These machines both come from eBay. Again. I'll drop a link in the description so you can purchase these. So that is the dehydrator. Um, this one I normally turn up to about 60 and I can cook it just that little bit longer if it's thicker stuff. And the other one I turn it up to full. So I'll show you the process of uh, how I do it. So as you do look, you get a little tear point in the bag tear it it's a resealable bag you just pull it open cool that smells nice oh, nice and barbecuey spice with so all i do look now you can see that just some of that in there like that um i'll get a bit of meat spread it out And just dab it in. Now, the time I've done all this, this will all start soaking into there. So it's another bit. Look, just dab it in. Leave it like that. Another bit. Dab it in. Obviously, if you don't like spicy, don't put so much on. I just. And then just keep going basically until you fill a tray. So that's the meat seasoned. It's got some really spicy stuff on top. So it's a full deck, this is the beginning. So switch it on. There's quite a bit of meat in here, so I'm going to just turn this up to just 60. And what I do, I'll give it three hours, and then after three hours, I'll swap the bottom to the top and the others and mix them all around so they all get the same dehydration around them. So we'll come back in three hours and we'll have a look, see how we get on. on. So it's been in three hours now, so what I'll do, I'll just swap them over. So I'll switch it off, always switch the machine off, the lid off, and I'll just stack it on top of the lid. Right, so, excuse me, I'm doing all this one-handed. So it's like that. And then, let's put that on there like that. Put it back on. And then switch it back on for another three hours. Right, that's it. So guys, just a little bit longer than three hours it just needed that a little bit longer because i did actually cut some really thick um so but it, now it, it's ready i'll just switch it off there like that and then i'll let it cool down and that uh, overnight and then in the morning i'll uh, come back and uh, sample it quite looking forward to this new seasoning right guys so it's the next day now it's just We'll just put it in a tray. 
Well, guys, my apologies, but I had to mute the sound on this clip due to copyright as there was some music playing in the background. Um, basically, all we're doing is just packing it away, and what I'll do will graze over that over the Christmas period. And that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, then please show your support by giving the video a like, a share, and a comment. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Then hitting the notification bell in the top right hand corner of your screen so you don't miss out on any future content that's coming to the channel. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. I hope to see you all very soon. Bye for now.